With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, this question has statement 1 and statement 2. Of 4 choices given after the statement, choose the one that best describe the statement. A point particle of mass m moving with speed v collide with a stationary particle of mass m if the maximum loss possible is f times half mv square then the value of f will be what so let's see this is the point particle small m and it strike with a point particle capital m right so maximum uh, energy loss will be when the collision will be inelastic perfectly inelastic so uh, what will happen they bo move both will start move with common velocity right like uh, the, they both will stick and start moving with a common velocity let's suppose v dash so you can calculate the v dash and you can calculate the loss of kinetic energy also so let's calculate the loss of kinetic energy right so uh, from momentum conservation you can write m plus capital m into v dash so yeah from here you can see uh, you can calculate this v dash so this will be the momentum initial and final right so the final kinetic energy you can write p square since the momentum is always constant by 2 m plus m this is the final kinetic energy and if we talk about the initial initial is p square by 2m since only the small mass is having velocity right so if i will calculate final minus initial that is the loss right so it will be p square will will be outside p square by 2 and in the bracket i will write this minus this so now you can calculate this will be p square by 2 in bracket m into m plus m yeah so here it will be m minus m minus m right yeah so it will be minus m minus capital m right so this m and this m will get cancelled out and p square will be m square v square by 2 into m times of m plus capital m right so this m and this m will get cancelled out now you can see mv square into m by m plus m is the loss in kinetic energy with the negative sign so you can see already this f which we calculated here is m upon m plus m not this right so this statement became incorrect now See the second statement, maximum loss occur when the particle gets sticks to each other, right, stick together. So, when they will stick to each other, when the velocity will of separation will become zero. So, if the velocity of separation will become zero, then collision will be inelastic. And inelastic collision, maximum deformation occur. So, if the deformation is maximum, then what will happen? the particle don't reform at all if the particle don't reform at all so loss of kinetic energy will be maximum so delta k is what kinetic energy loss right simple so the answer will be statement one is false and statements two is true so this. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.